I have been using my new Mac Mini M1 version for a couple of weeks now. So in this video I will talk about the good stuff I have found about it and some bad. So let's start. The reason why I bought an M1 Mac Mini was because my really old MacBook Air from 2012 started to not hold up anymore. So I needed a new computer so I can use it as a file server and so on for all my different kinds of servers, Plex server for example, and all my YouTube videos and so on. So I decided to buy a Mac Mini M1 over the brand new iMac. M1. And when I started using the new M1 Mac Mini, I realized that it's good for so much more than a file server. So I started using it as a YouTube machine. So basically I use my iPhone and my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus to record all these videos because I'm a mobile YouTuber. But then after that I do the rest on my Mac Mini. I do video editing in Final Cut Pro 10 and I do the thumbnails in Pixelmator and I write all the text for the description text and, and links and so on in drafts on Mac. Yes, I know I did all these on my iPad Air 4, iPad Air 2020 before and it worked good and all, but with this M1 Mac Mini I can do everything so much faster because this computer has a lot more storage. It has 256GB of storage on the SSD, yes, the same as on my iPad Air 4, but I use external hard drives now, much easier to get with Final Cut Pro 10. So now I can basically use my file server with all my YouTube B-roll clips and all other videos in a much easier and more practical way because uh, the Mac operating system is much better for professional use than iPadOS. And also doing a thumbnail in Pixelmator on a Mac is much faster to do on the Mac instead of uh, on my iPad. And I can be much more creative now with uh, the Mac so I can do different kinds of thumbnails, I can do different kinds of video editing that I couldn't on the iPad before. And also it's much easier now to, to handle and uh, do everything I do on my website svartling.net from the Mac instead of the iPad because sometimes you really need a computer and a better web browser for example than the built into iPad. Of course I use Safari on the Mac too because that is the only web browser you should use on a Mac and I write all my texts in drafts as I said because drafts also supports markdown so I can do linking and the styling of the text and all that in drafts and yes I could do that on the iPad 2 before but now it's much easier to just copy and paste into my website and so on directly in a real desktop web browser and all that so Everything I do now for YouTube, my YouTube channel and my website is so much easier and faster to do now when I use the Mac, the M1 Mac Mini. And I mean everything is so fast with the M1. I can render the video directly from Final Cut Pro so much faster now. Yes, the iPad Air 4 is incredible fast too. But now I can do it even faster than that because the M1 is a bit faster than the A14 chipset in the iPad Air 4. And also I really love to use the really large touchpad for the M1 Mac Mini. I have the Apple Magic touchpad for the Mac Mini and I also have the Magic Keyboard for the Mac Mini. So this combination makes it a lot easier because I have some great workflow with these two devices and a much bigger touchpad to be creative with. And the best thing of all is because now I can use a larger display to work on. I have the smaller iPad Air 4. I don't have an iPad Pro with 12.9 inch display so I only have an 11 inch display but uh, that is an excellent device now as a laptop. I use my iPad Air 4 with the Magic Keyboard as my laptop. I always have it with me and I do a lot of stuff on it. But when it comes to YouTube work, I prefer doing that on my Mac Mini now. And I know that I said that I could do everything I wanted on the iPad and yes, I can do that. But as I said, it's not as fast and not as easy to do as on a real Mac. 
So I guess you could say that I'm back to the Mac now. So I really love my Mac and the Mac operating system. So hopefully we will see the Mac operating system also on the iPad somehow. For example, when docking it into a larger display, why not dual boot Mac operating system when docking it to a larger display? Why not? Because I'm sure that the A14 chip in my iPad Air 4 is capable to run Mac operating system. And also the latest iPad Pro with the M1 has the exact same chip as my Mac mini. So why not run Mac operating system on an iPad? And if we, we not get that, I think Apple has some plans for this because the latest iPad Pro is so incredible good with really high specs and so on. So I guess that somehow we will be able to run Mac apps on the iPads. So later in the future, I am sure that we will see some Mac apps running on an iPad because now a Mac can run iPad apps. So why not the opposite? Why not run Mac apps on an iPad? So basically we maybe instead of the full Mac operating system, we'll be able to run Mac apps somehow on our iPads, but only the Mac apps that is available in the App Store. So I am sure that my next device after the iPad I have, the iPad Air 4, when that is too old to be useful, I will buy a Mac again, a laptop Mac. So MacBook, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro in the future. So now I have a Mac mini, I have an iPhone and I have an iPad Air 4. In the future, I will probably have an iPhone. I will probably have a Mac, Mac mini still and maybe even a MacBook Air or something because I really love Macs and I think that is what built Apple from the beginning. I think Apple knows that and they also want us to go back to the Mac because that is in Apple's genes actually. The Macs are their DNA. So I'm all in on Apple now and of course I still have my Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus but uh, I only use it for Samsung decks and so on when connected to a monitor or a TV and I use it as a, a file server or file downloader from the web and so on when I need to be portable or mobile. So that's about it. Uh, I really love my new Mac Mini, the M1 Mac Mini, I can highly recommend it. And I think that 256 gigabyte is more than enough because you can use fast external drives when having files and so on. So you don't need more than 256 gigabyte actually. That is my personal opinion and you can connect what Ever kind of display you want. I have a 27 inch display now with only 1080p resolution, full HD, but that is actually enough for me. So I, I don't need a 4K at the moment, but of course I would like to have a 4K display in the future. That is the benefits with a Mac Mini. You can connect which monitor you like. With an iMac, you get the display that you buy, for example, 24 inch iMac. You're stuck with that display. Of course, you can connect an external display also to an iMac, but you know what I mean? Okay, bye.